Hello everyone, welcome to .NET Training Academy. In this video, we are going to talk about ASP.NET Core or Node.js, which one is better. So the Node.js, so first we discuss about the Node.js. The Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 engine. Basically, the Node.js is a framework which uh, runs on top of JavaScript and it is uh, used in pro mostly at uh, the server side at the real-time web applications like chatting, polling, and uh, game, multiple game, uh, multiplayer games like that. And it is also nowadays used in, by our popular companies like Twitter. Uh, uh, basic, actually, the Twitter is migrated from Ruby on Rails to Node.js a couple of years ago. I think so. And also uh, the Yahoo and the LinkedIn have been migrated from the uh, other languages to this Node.js framework just because the performance and the lightning fast from this framework. Though it is an event-driven and non-blocking non input-output model uh, that also makes it lightweight and efficient. So here uh, there is a node package manager uh, which is the largest package manager in the world uh, because there are a lot of libraries available in the node uh, package manager for the help. And this is uh, Node.js. Node.js is basically used for the stuffs like uh, server-side and as well as the real-time web applications and also it is used in creating uh, very good performance web applications. And in the other hand, ASP.NET Core. ASP.NET Core is a free and open source web framework and higher performance than any other ASP.NET uh, web framework because earlier at the 2000s, uh, 2001, some kind of 2005, those kind of days, there, uh, there were a web framework which is called as Web Forms. And later in 2010, uh, Microsoft created a framework called ASP.NET MVC, which is also a very good and popular framework which is uh, used in enterprise world. But ASP Microsoft created ASP.NET Core, which is very lightweight. At the current version of the ASP.NET Core is 2.2, which is in preview, uh, which has a significant performance change uh, from the ASP.NET Core. Uh, basically, ASP.NET MVC is uh, very similar to ASP.NET Core. Uh, by the way, the popular applications like Stack Overflow, MSDN, and Bing uh, are all developed using the Microsoft. They migrated to ASP.NET Core 2.2, uh, I'm sorry, 2.1. So the there is a 30 percentage performance increase when comparing to uh, the previous version of Bing. So you can check that out in the blog, uh, in the MSDN blog, you can, there will be a post which is a, uh, like a Bing transfer to ASP.NET Core 2.1. And it is also a modular framework that runs on the both uh, Windows and uh, Linux servers. So in the previous years, there will be a complaint about from the developers, which uh, not only the developers and also the stakeholders and the, also the company managers, that, uh, something like uh, Windows Server is a lot more costlier when comparing to Linux Server. So that is becoming the main reason that a lot of people avoid ASP.NET MVC and a lot of .NET stuff uh, just because of the money. That, you know, even though they can uh, develop something using the efficient and powerful framework like ASP.NET MVC, but they, uh, but they just avoid or uh, regret that stuff only because of the uh, Windows Server, which is costlier when comparing to the Linux Server. But now ASP.NET Core is also available in Linux Server, where you can host your application on the Linux Server, just like you can do with using Node.js, PHP, Ruby on Rails, whatever stuffs that you like that you have done before. So this is the ASP.NET Core, and this is the Node.js. Both and comparing both, I would say. Both is an heavyweight performant. So now, just uh, we have a versus with between these two. So there are a lot of factors to pick a framework. Not only the framework, the language. So when it comes to the language, ASP.NET Core uses C Sharp. Node.js uses JavaScript. So first, we talk about the language. The language C Sharp is a powerful and uh, very good language. And it is a language which has a lot of data structures uh, and a lot of features uh, available in that. The only uh, language which stands beside uh, C Sharp is Java. Other than that, no other language is as cool as 
C sharp. Uh, cool, which I mean is um, the features, the data structures, uh, those kind of old uh, performant things. So here in the other side, Node.js uses the JavaScript. We all know the JavaScript is really a easy language and it is used in the client side scripting. But at the late 2012, uh, they created something called Node.js, which can be used at the server side, which changes the world entirely. So when, so in the framework, uh, this is the four important factors that we need to check. One, the number one thing is support. If, it, if the framework has a less support where there are no community and where no developers are helping you, that framework is useless. So when, when talking about the support, Node.js stands uh, like a pillar because if you see the survey about or survey of statistics around the Stack Overflow or Quora, the Node.js framework sits on top of the support. So when talking about the support, Node.js uh, picks the point. But here, ASP.NET Core is very new to the technology, so the support is not as good as the Node.js. So the next thing is quality of code. So when it comes to quality of code, uh, C Sharp wins because C Sharp has a lot of features when comparing to JavaScript, has some limited amount of features. But here in the C Sharp, in the asynchronous world, C Sharp has a lot of um, core features like delegates, generics, and uh, Lambda expressions, and a lot of things which is a lot more cooler than the Node.js. But if we talk about the JavaScript, uh, the Node.js, it also has a good feature when comparing. So uh, I don't put that in a bad state, but it uh, has a good face. So when it comes to resource, obviously Node.js wins. So the reason is uh, for a fresher, let's take that scenario. For a fresher, if you are uh, teaching them a JavaScript, which is uh, the uh, learning phase of uh, Node.js, first thing that, you have, uh, that you're going to do is to teach them a JavaScript language and which has some basic features like uh, variables, uh, basic programming things like variables, functions, statements, iterations, loopings, uh, those kind of stuff. And when you get them into the uh, Node.js world, they're going to learn about the asynchronous programming and the callback function, event handling, uh, those kind of stuff. Uh, only those uh, threadings uh, and the kernel, uh, that's, that's not really complicated thing. But so this, uh, the learning phase is really, uh, the learning curve for the Node.js is really small and uh, very easy. And it doesn't take much time when comparing to the learning curve C Sharp. So, um, so we can, when the resources means the number of developers that we have, the number of how fast that you can build a project. So those are all called the resources thing here. So when, when talking about the resource, Node.js wins because uh, we can make a pressure to a developer within a small period of time. Uh, and also we can produce a project uh, within a limited time. So ASP.NET Core is not like that. It is a bit, but it is a good, but it's not as easy as the Node.js. Uh, when, when it goes to the C Sharp, when it goes to C Sharp, C Sharp is a general purpose language. C Sharp is not only intended to do the web framework of web applications. It is a general purpose language where you can build the mobile applications, web applications, desktop applications, softwares, and uh, internet of things, games. There are a lot of stuff. So the learning curve for C Sharp is higher when comparing to Node.js. So what the things you're going to do is to learn the C Sharp basics and the advanced C Sharp object oriented programming and the collections, data structures, and then you also need to learn about something like uh, link, which is really important for querying purpose, as well as you need to learn about the entity framework, and then only you're going to finally learn about the ASP.NET Core web framework. So the learning curve for the ASP.NET Core is really high when comparing to the Node.js, so that's the reason, that's the only reason I can tell uh, Producing a developer, it takes a little bit of time when comparing to Node.js. So that's the reason I put this stuff in the good position. But it's not really bad to learning those lot of things because those things will be very helpful in the development phase. So I don't consider that it as a bad thing. So I just put that in a good. So when you talk about the performance, here both wins because Node.js is uh, a very fast and efficient framework but ASP.NET Core is also comparatively equivalent to Node.js. So if you don't believe, 
let's check that performance test right now so to do the testing in wrk make sure you have installed that stuff in your machine in basically your the WRK is available in Linux platforms like Mac, Ubuntu kind of stuff. But if you wanted to try that in Windows, you can also use uh, Ubuntu uh, Bash in uh, Windows, uh, which is available only in Windows 10. So if you wanted to download and use that stuff, means you can click the description below and there's the link how to install the WRK in Windows 10. So that, and the next thing is, uh, if you wanted to install that in Mac, you can install using Brew install WRK so in my machine it's already installed so and you can also install in the Linux machines uh, the command uh, is uh, below in the description and let's start our testing so for the first thing what I'm going to do is to uh, navigate to the uh, our, my project directory CD weekly core workout CD weekly core workout and inside of that, I'm going to create a folder called ASP.NET ASP.NET Core Test folder. I'm going to get inside of that. Maybe not Core Test. So what I'm going to do is to create a new web application. So after creating the project successfully, uh, I'm going to navigate to the Visual Studio Code. So here is the actual code to run our server. So this will make our the HP.NET Core web application to run. So the uh, so let's start our testing just by running our application. So what I'm going to do is to clear the screen and then uh, run my project. So .NET run. So I'm going to use this uh, compilation in the release mode, not in the debug mode. So I'm going to use the command iPhone C space release so here the uh, .NET our project has uh, started running uh, so the second thing that I wanted to create is to create a duplicate tab of this uh, path so here we are going to perform our test using WRK WRK is basically a HTTP benchmarking tool uh, benchmarking which means the performing the test between the uh, uh, platforms like uh, the server-side platforms or uh, the languages kind of stuff so it is basically for the HTTP which means the web-based platforms and this tool is capable for uh, loading some uh, so this tool is capable of uh, running a benchmark uh, across the connections with the number of threads in a particular duration of time so that is the actual purpose of using the WRK so, so I'm going to type the command of WRK uh, for about for about the hundred connections so the C iPhone C is for connection and the number of connections is going to be the hundred and the and the threads is going to be hundred and also the duration is going to be for about 10 seconds so the next thing I wanted to do is to copy the URL which is the server URL from my running ASP.NET Core application. So then I'm going to click enter. When I click enter, what it actually do is to create uh, a testing of about the hundred connection which is hitting this project uh, at the particular number of threads within this duration. So let's start the test. So if we go over here, the, there are hitting a lot of uh, connections and the threads are running over here for about 10 seconds. So after that, it, this WRK will perform the uh, the test and then it will show us the actual status about the test so here the status for this application is ASP.NET Core is capable of hitting 74,121 requests in 10.9 seconds and the latency would be this and this and this so this stuff may actually may vary depending upon the machine and depending upon the some kind of uh, strategies but this is the basic testing uh, with the performance testing for and now now let's do the performance test for uh, the node.js so let's get started so here it is i just pasted the code to uh, run a server in this i just uh, requiring the importing the http module 
and also I'm just using the request handler to listen the request and response and here the server is listening the port and if any error happens this thing will be done and we are going to stick the listen server port when the server is run so let's run the program so go to the node bash clear the stuff off node index.js and it started to listen to the server right so let's test this stuff so what I'm going to do is to uh, the report is running in 3000 and using the WRKs which is a performance testing tool and we are creating a fake 100 threads and fake 100 connections uh, to perform a request response hit for 10 seconds duration of 10 seconds let's run this stuff if we go over and check that out we are having this uh, slash just to make sure the each connections so here if we check this out we are having 41,229 requests so this is fairly good so this is the uh, performance result the performance result and both the framework is a lot faster and when it uh, there is no compromise uh, when the when talking about the performance so in 2019 if you talk about node.js or asp.net core uh, it is based on requirements because if you are really wanted to if you really wanted to become a, just a web developer means i would prefer node.js but if you are having some other ideas like uh, currently the ml.net machine learning things are coming out into the coming into the uh, .net framework so if you are also interested not only in the web if you are also interested in interested in other technologies uh, i would choose you i would uh, i would suggest you to go for asp.net core so that's the video if you like this video please uh, like and share and if you didn't subscribe for this channel please subscribe and click the notification bell icon uh, below and if you have any queries and if you have any disagrees with me please uh, comment that below we will chat